Aloha, folks. Welcome to another episode of Think on These Things. Now, I know as a fact, there's only about five people who are going to watch this video, and that is because Pastor Ryan convinced me to make this video, this vlog, a tutorial or a tour of our new website. And uh, I know that very few people want to watch that. So, uh, but the few people who are watching this, you're in for a treat because I decided to put that little tour at the very end of this video. The beginning of this video is going to be some really interesting footage. Uh, several years ago, I haven't traveled the last couple of years, but several years ago, I had about two years of a lot of travel. Some of you remember, I went to Germany, I went to Australia, I was in uh, Fiji and China and Japan and some other places. And uh, before I left for that trip, I went in with Joe Hoffman, we went halvesies on a drone, and I got some drone footage from those areas. So perhaps you want to play a little game. You can just watch the footage for a while, try to guess where it is, and at the end I'll just put a little label at the bottom as to where I took that drone footage. So enjoy the music, watch the drone footage, and then if you want to hang on and watch the uh, tour of our new website, you could do that as well. Or perhaps if you want to fast forward and watch the tour, you could do that as well. It's totally up to you. All right, let's get with it.
I hope you did good on your quiz there. This is our new church website, and uh, I suspect by now only Pastor Ryan is watching. So, Ryan, this one's for you, bud. Uh, as with almost every website now, across the top of the website, there are words. Each one of these words represent either a, a another web page that's in our site, a link to another part of our site, or they represent a menu of other pages. So, for instance, home just takes you to this home page, of course, and there's just some basic information about our church on this initial page. A great way to think about our website is the About Us. If you hover over each one of these words, it kind of tells you uh, the menu that's below it. So under the About Us, this is primarily for folks who are just interested in finding out about our church. So what we believe, that links to our statement of faith, leadership. We don't have our pictures up for the pastors yet uh, for obvious reasons, but we will soon, hopefully. Uh, becoming a church members, ministry with support, and the church calendar. Uh, so this is really for folks who are new or looking at our church. The resources uh, tab really is for those of us who are church members. So let me just go through each one of these things. Of course, we have the church directory, much like we had at our old website. If you click on this, it will take you to that, again, password-protected document. And uh, you will need that password to see our, our church pictorial directory. Uh, that's updated quarterly or around quarterly, and if you need that password and you are a church member, you can talk to the church secretary, and she we can get that number or that password to you. Um, family groups, the beginning of family groups here, just an introduction to families, but right here, uh, for those of you who are members, this is where you will get your family group outline, and we haven't been able to do exact make it exactly like the last one. If you click on this, it will immediately download that uh, file in onto your downloads folder. So make sure you know where your downloads folder is and uh, it'll immediately download, download that to your folder. Below here is for those of you who are looking for a family group. Uh, also on resources is the pastor's class. This is uh, mainly audio, but sometimes some video of what's happening in our pastor's class. We have other classes, of course, but this is sort of the main sanctuary class, and we have most of the audio for that the last couple of years. Registrations, this would just be for Kid Check, Awana, and at this point, Children's Ministry Volunteer Application. There, there may be some other things we put on there as well, but uh, these are the registrations we have at this point. And then on the recommended resources, this is just if you get bored one day or if you're looking for answers to questions, a uh, great place to go is to these great websites we recommend here to you. And then uh, below are some books that we recommend to you as well. This is just basically my personal recommendation list that I put together for the website. And uh, if you're looking for books to read or for perhaps uh, websites as resources, that's what you can go to. The number one request on our new website, in fact, our old website, the biggest complaint we had over and over again was that there wasn't a direct link to sermons. They just want to type in makakilochurch.com or .org, either one works. They just wanted to type that in and immediately see, make it an obvious place where they can click to watch or listen to sermons. So if you click on sermons, that's what it takes you to, our sermon page. You can uh, look things up by date, series, speaker, or title. And, uh, of course, the most recent one will be right here at the top, and then the others will be at the bottom. Um, in terms of listening to this, if you want to download it as an audio file, if you go to Resources, and you can right-click, and it will download that file, uh, audio file for you to put on your mobile device. If you go to the Give uh, tab, this is how you make donations to our church through our website. Now, I just want to pause here and say this. The best way to give is as a part of your worship experience. As we all gather corporately, that's the way they did it in the Bible. They would literally have a, a giving box up at the front of the, the synagogue initially, and then the, the churches, and, and people would put their money in the box. So uh, that's the best way to give. Um, if you can't be there, the second best way to give is to is to use bill pay through your bank. Most of our banks now, it's free to set up bill pay, and uh, all you need is a church address. Uh, which is right here, obviously, and uh, you can just make that pay that sort of like a bill. It doesn't cost you anything, doesn't cost us anything. Uh, but if you can't do either one of those things, there is a way to give through our website. And uh, you come here and click on Make a Donation. They do take 
out of your donation. You, you don't get charged more, but they take 2.7%, which, by the way, is better than our last website, which was closer to 3%, plus they added on per transaction. So uh, we, the church, spent thousands of dollars on that last year, or I guess thousands of dollars were withheld from your gifts uh, to the church. So if you need to use this, use this. It'll be great. Uh, we're very appreciative of any gift that you give, uh, but just be mindful that they're going to withhold uh, whatever you give. They're going to take out 2.7% of that uh, as it comes here. I think they bill it later. So you just click on make a donation, and it brings up this, uh, excuse me, and it brings up this uh, site here where you can choose a fund right now. We, we don't really have any other special funds, but at this point, uh, we may we may add in missions or something like that, or if there's a special need, we'll do that. But at this point, it's just giving to the general fund uh, at this point. And you can set it up, actually, to, to give from the same credit card or debit card or whatever, and uh, that should that should be easy for you. All right? And then the contact page, if you just want to email us, that's essentially what this does. It just goes to the church email. So uh, put your first and last name and email and uh, send your message. All right, Ryan, do you have this all down? I hope this isn't too hard for you. Just hover your mouse over these buttons, and they'll bring up different menus, and you can click on the ones that, that you want. Hope this is helpful for everyone. We'll see you on the next episode.